A Windows computer or laptop contains different drives like C, D, and E drive. The C drive is one of the main hard drives of a computer that contains the operating system and system files. This is why most of the space in this drive is already consumed by system files due to the fact this drive stores operating systems and important system file, it needs to have sufficient free space in order to run the computer faster and smoother. But truth is, that the space of C drive fills up so fast as compared to other drives as it is the main hard drive of the computer which is directly responsible for the computer's performance it needs to have sufficient free space Step number one to free up space in C drive, you need to copy those folders inside an empty partition. So I will select those folders, except the documents, then control C. I will put them in here. This is completely empty partition. Right click and paste the folders and I will wait. Okay, now all you have to do is yes, right click on each folder and change the location. Desktop, for example, folder, right click property, go to location, then select move this folder. Okay, then use the new location, select the same folder. Okay, then the left folder, click apply and hit yes here and we'll move the files. Do the same thing for each folder. Step two, launch your browser and go to google.com like this, and then look for this tool, Drive City. Then go to the first link, go ahead and download the file, and then save the file, depends on desktop or any other location. Then from the download section here, just open the tool and then select yes for the administration permission. Now, after that, just all you need, select show all options, then go to advanced section here, then select all. Okay, in my case, I will uncheck Google Chrome because I'm using it. Okay, in select all the items. Okay, now select start cleanup like this then hit yes. This process won't take long. Now go to Google again and then look for this tool DISM double plus C then hit enter. Now go ahead to the first link majorgeeks.com and click the link go ahead and download the tool from here from first link it will download shortly yes here we go now click save file and then click hit ok then open the download option here and open the zip folder or the zip file now minimize your browser and then make sure to extract those files on desktop by clicking on here extract then open this three dots from here choose desktop and make a new folder then rename it dism double plus c then hit okay then hit okay it will extract the tool here we go this is our tool here okay and this in here you will see two things actually 64 bit and 32 bit okay if you're running 64 run the 64 version and the same thing for 32 bit version run 86 version okay now right click on the tool run it as administrator and then hit yes now click on accept and then from options here go to more settings and don't forget to enable expert mode all right click okay then go to disk cleanup from here and select all those boxes okay by clicking on each box like this okay uncheck compact os okay this one just uncheck this one okay and do the same thing for all the boxes okay like this now click on scan this process won't take long perfect after scanning just all you need hit on cleanup like this and then select OK. The process is complete. Once you're done, hit, hit X button. OK. Step number three. Launch your browser again and go to Google. Then go to CCleaner. Then make sure to download the latest CCleaner on your PC. Then go here for home option. Click on, on CCleaner. Then go ahead and download free version. Scroll all the way down and press on free download. Scroll down again and click on free download again. Here we go. Save the file. It will be downloading here. Once it's done, open it and install it. The admin Administration permission will appear so click on yes now go ahead and select install don't install the CCleaner browser okay so just click on decline and then uncheck view release notes then run CCleaner just wait a few seconds then click here on continue then start clean CCleaner go to custom scan and make sure to select all these options here then on application check Firefox and Google Chrome in your case but in my case I'm using Google Chrome so I will uncheck it check all the browsers boxes then click on analyze wait a few seconds now click on run ccleaner click on run ccleaner again <coughs> until it shows
shows zero percentage. Now it's done. Step four, go to start menu, then look for CMD and then run it as administrator. After that, select yes for administration permission. Now the CMD window here, type power cfg.exe space slash hibernate off, then hit enter. Now step four is done. Step five, launch your browser and go to Google again and then look for IOPIT uninstaller. Yeah, this one hit enter then go to the first link and go ahead and download it then save the file and wait a few seconds until it's done now click on the installation file then accept the permission it won't take long actually click on install then click on no thanks here and then finish the app will launch up now select recently installed and then go to large programs in my case i don't use lightroom or adobe premiere also i'm going to remove after effects so i will do that real quick then i will click here on uninstall then i'm going here to select the other software then i'll click on uninstall After you're done uninstalling unneeded application from your system, now feel free to close the uninstaller. Step number six, launch any of your favorite browsers. In my case, I will choose Waterfox. Then I will simply go to Google, then look for bloat box for Windows 11 and simply go to the first link from github.com and then scroll the way down until you see latest release download, click on it. And then in this page, download below box.zip then save it once it's done downloading simply click on the zip file and then extract those files on desktop actually and don't forget to create a new folder with the same name load box then simply extract it and then hit up once you're done extracting go ahead to the tool which should which you find it on desktop and then go ahead and run this tool as administrator okay this tool simply it's it's removing the bootloaders from your pc so don't freak out okay in my case i will remove those things real quick i will click on add select then i will click uninstall this will free up more space on your c drive once you're done just click ok and now you're done this is for today guys i hope you like this video please don't forget to thumb up and subscribe to the channel if you have any recommendation suggestions for the next video please leave the comment below